Welcome back guys. Uh, it's been a little while since I posted anything about the computer and that's what I want to work on today is I want to show you some specs that I didn't get on the first video and I know some of you guys were looking for that but that's really not what that video was for. Um, I just wanted to get into a little bit of the specs. The software that comes with the Rogue um, graphics card uh, gives me a little bit of the frame rates and different things like that so I'm just gonna get into different games and stuff and uh, just show you what like the frame rates are like and uh, hopefully it gives someone some uh, insight on to what this computer can do and yeah uh, let's get into it here now not all of this makes complete sense to me yet but I know for some of you this is gonna make a lot of sense and this is what's on the computer here it's all that so I'm assuming like oh this is all the GPUs like uh, overclocking and stuff like that and like uh, how fast it's going and how what's the temperatures everything so uh, I can show you guys what it's like in a game here I just gotta get into one here all right so the game I'm gonna start off with first is um, War of Rights and up in the top uh, left hand corner I have the, all of the uh, specs and everything and how like what's all going on there and I have another camera pointing towards that so I will show you that here now so in the home screen here I got 219 frames per second it looks like uh, and the GPU MA, uh, I mean MHZ is 1875, uh, Celsius is 58 degrees, uh, and I don't know what 95% means, but we're going to find out here. Okay, just in the like loading screen here, outside of the actual like fighting part of it, I was getting like 60 frames per second, and uh, now I'm actually in the game. I'm still getting 60 frames per second, which is still really good. And this is at 4K resolution, uh, so that's pretty good. <laughs> 70 frames per second. And as soon as I probably start running around and start shooting and stuff, it's gonna drop down quite a bit. So still have running right around 60 to 70. Dip down to 50 there for a second. And this is on an ultra wide screen, too. This is a 34 inch LG screen. And if I can find anybody. But let's take a shot in here. Yeah, so in this type of gameplay, it's actually doing fairly decent. It's hovering right around 60 to 70 frames per second, which is really good. Um, so there's really not much more to test out on this game. I'm going to switch over to a few other ones here. All right, so now we're getting into Arma 3. And right in the loading screen here, I'm searching for a game. I'm getting 50 frames per second so far, and I'm hovering right around 1,200. All right, so now we're in a game, and... We're getting right around still 50 frames per second, so. And we're in the middle of a battle right now, so when I move around, I'm getting right around 50 to 49. looks like in Arma with this setup you're gonna be running right around like 50 to 49 frames per second you might hit mid 40s uh, if you're in like if there's any like crazy explosions or tons of things going on like if the Zeus starts throwing in a bunch of random stuff so um, but yeah no it's yeah handling it pretty good um, 
we'll switch over to Call of Duty here. All right, so in the loading screen, I have about 100 feet frames per second. And actually, in the game, I'm dropping in, and I have 110 frames per second. That's pretty good. 85. Wow. So pretty much when you're in a firefight and everything, it's actually doing really well. This this is probably the best it's done on any other game so far. A uh, War of Rights, it was right around hovering 60 to 50 frames per second, and then um, Arma, there it was doing like right around 50 to 45 frames per second, and um, Call of Duty, it's been doing like 80 uh, to 70 frames per second, like during gameplay. So I'm uh impressed so that's a uh, that's it for the games uh, I will show you what it's like with some uh, footage on uh, DaVinci Resolve and how it is scrubbing through everything so all right just so you can see what's going on in uh, DaVinci Resolve here I have the little thing up here showing what's all going on with the GPU and uh, stuff and this was my last video I did. Uh, this was only shot in 1080p, so there isn't like any high resolution stuff going on in here. Uh, but when I'm scrubbing through it, you can literally just go down to the minute little. So it scrubs pretty good uh, through this entire thing here. And it looks like it's just staying at like 1470 that whole time there, so. But I absolutely love how uh, I can just scrub through any of my footage and just not have to worry about any, like, uh, overheating problems or just, like, a fan kicking on, like, because when I was editing on my Mac, uh, that's what it would happen all the time. I'd literally have to get, like, ice packs to put underneath it and, like, fans and stuff just to scrub through some <laughs> footage, and it was kind of a pain, so... But if you guys have any further questions, please leave me a uh, comment down below. I would be happy to get back to you guys. I'll try my best. And if you guys are looking into getting into full-time filmmaker, I am affiliate for them. And I'll have a link down below for um, my affiliate link for full-time filmmaker. It is like one of the best classes for uh, filmmaking, uh, business, and how to edit just everything uh, filmmaking related is he goes over every single little part of it so be sure to check that out and we also are an affiliate with uh, Ed the Adventure Challenge so be sure to check them out we have a discount code down below for you guys if you guys are interested into that and any purchases you guys make we get a little kickback from it and that'll be helping us out immensely and it is the time of the year Merry Christmas everybody and have a happy new year and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.